Bit of a feeling out period here. Yeah. Two teams carrying it up to try a little dump and chase. Now trying to get something. Marcuson slides it across. Score! Shot came from the far side. Luco took the shot. We'll see if someone tapped it home. But we talked about the first period trouble of the Terriers, and it's the Catamounts who get on the board first. Looks like Blake Deering uh, may have gotten it. Now, the line sheets we got originally didn't have Deering in the lineup. There was some discussion about how it would be the first game this season. He sat out, but Deering's out there, and it looks like he got that goal. Well, just a great cross-ice pass for the one-timer, and Deering going hard to the net, cleans it up. But the one style of play tonight, another style of play tomorrow. Okay. A score as it came out front. Trevino was there to bury it from the slot. Tie game. Just great work off the forecheck here. Two men on the puck out manning it. Creates the turnover. The puck gets down there. Below the goal line. Out in front. Looking for him. Through the wickets, good play, good for hard work, side to side action, good forecheck, you know, kind of a blind pass out front, looking for something good, and something good happened right on Trevino's stick. The skilled players they have that they would struggle on the power play. Turn over here, score! Charlie Coyle comes away with it right in front of the net, and a power play goal puts the Terriers on top. Well, this isn't the kind of uh, error you, you want to see from a senior on his backhand trying to go up the middle to clear the puck on a power play. And he gets caught with it. Here it is right here. He gets pressured into it, but it leads right to Coil, right on the spot, and he goes top shelf with it. The pressure by Nieto forcing the issue creates that turnover, and Coil makes him pay. And it's taken back there by Nick Brunetto. Back out the other way. The backhand score! Solid individual effort by Kyle Reynolds, who makes the Terriers pay. Catamounts have come out looking good here in the second period. Playing within their system, zone to zone. Solid hockey. Playing good defensively. The defense leads to this chance. But this is just great individual effort by Reynolds. Just a little one-two. Gets a man cutting to the net. A nice backhander under Rollheiser's arm. Just a little dipsy do inside, continues by, beats his man, and then beats Rollheiser under the arm. Connolly to Trevino. Trevino back from Clendenin. Escobedo, we're back to even strength. In front rebound, score! Megan just after the power play. So an even strength goal puts the Terriers back on top. When you're running a hot streak, the puck happens to show up for you right at the right time, and Wade Megan right there, right on the spot, to clean up that pass. Comes after the power play, but it's good power play work right here. Looking for the tip by Conley, and Megan's there to clean it up. Puck jumps right on his dick. Came into the game a plus nine, tied for the best plus minus in hockey. Here you go, here you go. And Ryan Flanagan. Second rank to Merrimack College Warriors. Here's Noonan waiting, shooting, score! Garrett Noonan had all the time in the world. And for the second straight game, the Terriers have two power play goals. That was just hard work. They won the battle against the boards, goes side to side. Noonan waits for Coyle to get in front of the net. Creates the screen, and they beat Medor for goal number four, Garrett Noonan. Stallberg takes it down low, keeping the puck here. McKenzie, a little shifty move, bouncing puck. Rollheiser got a piece of it, rebound, score! Vermont with a power play goal, ties it up. I think it was Stallberg down low who was able to bang it home. And it's a one-goal game with 3.18 remaining. Chipping a chance. Great work there on the power play. Great setup and great job by the defenseman, Drew McKenzie here. Stahlberg works it to him. McKenzie gets him out of the shooting lane, gets that puck 
down there, and Stahlberg cleans it up on the goal line. Great job on McKenzie up top. Well, McKenzie's had a terrific game for the University of Vermont.